Hi, my name is Kim Banks, and I'm the supervisor at Palmer Wild. And today I'm going to show you how to remove a pressure system out of our recorders and how to put back a pre-calibrated system. It's a very simple process. First, most recorders you're going to have your chart plate on, a chart on the chart plate, and everything's going to be bolted down. So we want to take all of this loose. Take the chart plate off. It's just four screws that you're going to loosen up. You can use the pin arm lifter to pick your pin up out of the way. Take your chart off, or your recorder chart. Then the chart plate, just push it up, and it will slide right off of your recorder. Next thing you want to remove is the clock. The clock is bolted down with three 832 screws onto posts. And you want to save these screws because when we send you a pre-calibrated system, we will send you new screws to put the system itself down with, but we don't send new screws for the clock. So you want to hold on to those three screws. Once we get that far, I usually like to move my pin arm lifter down so it's just out of my way. You want to, first let's disconnect the linkage. We're just disconnecting the old linkage from the ratio arm. Lay it aside. In the bottom of the recorder, the connector has three 832 screws as well. So you want to remove these screws, and we will send you new ones for this. So if you don't want to keep them, that's fine. Okay, once you take all three of those screws out, then you can take your thumb and push the pressure connector, which should be disconnected from any pressure source, through the hole in the bottom of the box. And that only leaves the two screws at the top that has got the system bolted down. And this would be exactly what you would have when you take a system out. Okay, for today's purposes, I'm going to reuse this same system because it's a pre-calibrated system. We would bend it to where it would fit right into the recorder that you have. You might have to do minor adjustments to fit your box because this is stainless steel. So it's just, we're just going to take this system and put it right back into the box. And putting it in, you do it in reverse in the way you took it out. You want to put the connector in first because you have to maneuver three holes. And this is the 832 screw. The screws in the connector. And all I'm using here is a wedge screwdriver that just helps hold the screw until you can get it started. Once you use this screwdriver, which you really don't have to have this type of screwdriver, you just have to have a straight blade. Then you use your straight blade just to tighten the screws up. Then you want to tighten 
him just snug. And once you've done that, then your system is free flowing up here. So this is the 1032 screw. snugly screws up with the strike blade screwdriver. So now we have remounted the pressure system that we removed. So next you will have your linkage that we will provide. This system is calibrated with this linkage so you want to reconnect it. Also we provide a ticket that shows the ratio arm here. What we would do when we calibrate a recorder, we mark on this ticket that we send with the unit which hole that we connect the linkage to. This particular system connected in the first hole. So we would simply circle that hole. This then gets attached to this system, either one of these holes or one of these holes. So it can't get separated from it and you would know which hole to reconnect your linkage. Reconnecting a linkage, you want to connect it to the system first. And second, you want to connect it to the ratio arm. And you have to manipulate the arm just a little bit for it to go back in. It shouldn't hurt it at all. So this takes it. Now we are connected back. So you want to put your clock back in. Snug those screws back up. You want to put the chart plate back in. When you're putting the chart plate back in, hold the chart hub in your hand so it doesn't get underneath the chart, and you would have to take it back off. So set it on the four places. Snap it back in place screwdriver to lock it in place. comes through your pen comes in contact with your paper and in this process when you take a system out the system the linkage and the micro adjustment have all worked together in the calibration process in replacing a new system the system is calibrated but your micro adjustment wasn't in that particular calibrations because it's set for the system that you removed so when you put a new system in the one adjustment that you would need to make is the micro adjustment. You want to take the micro adjustment and re-zero your recorder. Once you put the recorder back on zero, the calibrations then should be correct. For more information on temperature and pressure products from Palmer Wild, please call us at 1-800-421-2853 
or 828-658-3131 or visit us online at www.palmerwall.com.